beautiful people. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lucy Stevenson but you can call me Luce because we're all friends here. If you are new here please don't forget to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel and turn that notification bell on because I'm uploading on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays and Sundays and sometimes there will some, be some like little bonus videos in between so you want to make sure that it's turned on so you don't miss a thing. I'm going to change the colour of my lights one second. What do we think like a little a little yellow moment? So today we're going to be testing the I Heart Revolution Tasty Pineapple Collection. I love anything fruity, so I am so pumped for this. Lights are now matching. So first up we have the eyeshadow palette. So this retails for £10. This is just what it looks like. And then this is what the inside of the palette looks like as well. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shimmers and the rest are mattes, which is absolutely amazing. And you get... 18 colours inside, so we have 11 matte and 7 shimmers. That makes me very happy. <laughs> There's also two lip glosses in the collection. These retail for £5. We have Freeze, which is this one here. This is actually clear though. And then we also have Frost, which both of them actually are lip plumping glosses. Okay, this one is really, really shimmery, whereas the, sh the clear one, the Freeze, hasn't got any shimmer in it. There, you can definitely see the shimmer there. And then last but not least in the collection, we have a brush set, which apart from like the unicorn collection, actually then again, the, the pebbles one was, okay, scrap what I was going to say. I was going to say we haven't really seen many, but the, it isn't as often that we get like a brush set from I Heart Revolution. And if you watch any of my videos, I'm always using like brushes from Christmas gift sets, just from the hair, ignore me, um, from Christmas gift sets from I Heart Revolution and Revolution in general. So I'm really glad that they've started like branching into this more. This is £12, which I don't think is too bad for four brushes when you compare it to like Morphe prices, stuff like that, you know what I mean? So this one looks like you'd have like a brush that maybe could be like a really big fluffy blending eye brush. We have like a more dense kind of packed blending brush. This one's like a packing on brush or like underneath your eye or packing in the outer corner. And then we have like a angled eyebrow brush. So we'll use this to, again today to do the eye look. Let's do some swatches and we'll get straight into the video. Okay, so I think I'm going to go for, I don't know if you can be able to see it. So I think I'm going to go for like a yellow, orange, pink moment with like the matching shimmers. That's the kind of vibe that I'm going to go for. So I'm going to pop on some of my P. Louise base in the shade Rumour number two. And then I'm just going to blend that out with a sponge. Okay, so going in with the brush set, I'm going to take this brush to begin with. And I'm going to go in with the shade Sliced from the palette. And I'm going to pop this right in this inner corner. I'm just going to tap it on to begin with. I'm just building up the pigmentation and just kind of diffusing it and making it quite like blown out. And then I'm taking a ABH brush, you know the ones that you just get in like the little brush sets. And I'm gonna take one of these and take the fluffy end and I'm gonna go in with the shade Jelly, which is this orange here. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing, but I'm gonna tap this right in the middle here and then diffuse it upwards. They're definitely swatched a little bit more pigmented than what they're going on my eye, but I am using quite a fluffy brush to apply them, whereas normally I use like like a brush like this, like a really, really like dense, I'm just gonna focus, dense packing on brush. So that could also be the reason why, because they swatched like beautifully. I'm actually going to take another one of them ABH brushes, the fluffy end again, and I'm going to go in with the shade Sweet, which is this pink here, which is beautiful. And I'm going to do the exact same thing again with like obviously a fluffy brush. It's not going to be, yeah, you can definitely tell it's not as intense as how it swatches when you apply it with a fluffy brush. And I'm just going to kind of use this to diffuse out this outer corner. I've also added some of it just on my lid as well, just to make it easier to blend in with the shimmers in a bit. And then to blend out the edges, I'm going to take the biggest fluffy brush from the set, and I'm going to go in with the shade Cream, which is like this nudie colour here. And like, to be fair, this brush, I probably would be more likely to use it as a highlighter brush than I would an eyeshadow brush. But just whilst it's in the eyeshadow brush set, I'm going to take some of that cream colour and literally just blend out these edges. Mm. 
I always find this technique really good if you're quite like me and you naturally take your eyeshadow quite a lot higher just because you have hooded eyes, you're so used to it. But sometimes when I take my eyeshadow like way, way too much higher than it needs to be. So yeah, it really, really helps with that. Okay, so now that it's looking like this, I'm gonna go back in with each of the brushes that we've already used in each of the colors and just re-intensify the color. And then I think it'll be time for the shim shim. So we're just going back in with the yellow, going back in with the orange, and then lastly going back in with the pink in sweet, and just kind of blend all of that together. And then I'm gonna go back in again, obviously with that big brush with cream, and just diffuse all the edges. I'm gonna do three different brushes to do my shimmers. I don't wanna go with my finger because I want it to be quite like a controlled where I'm putting it. So I'm going to start with, this is a, actually a Heavenly Liner Blending Brush from Bare Essentials that I've definitely got like in a box or something. And I'm going to go in to begin with, with the shade Tropical Gold, which is the gold in the palette. This is a very like squishy shimmer, but it gives you so much pigment. So I'm hoping that it picks up, yeah, it picks up beautifully with a brush. So I'm basically matching the shimmers to where I've put the matte colour of it. So obviously going in with this tropical gold right in where the yellow was and then taking the Morphe M124 brush it just looks like this I'm going to go in with the shade Caribbean Sea which is the shimmery orange in the palette and I'm going to match that up to where we have the orange this brush doesn't pick up the shimmer as well I've changed like a different type of bristle brush this is actually from the um, Buff and Blend Emma Fleming collection this is the number 05 Oh yeah, that's so much better. I just don't think a fluffy brush was actually helping. And then for the last one, I'm gonna swap it again and go for this brush and see if this, if this is any better. It actually has no name or anything on it, so I don't know where it's from. And I'm gonna go in with Syrup, which is this beautiful, like, pinky, purpley shade. I'm gonna pick some of that up. It, it is like, it's such a soft for me, but it like weirdly looks like it's crumbling. You are definitely going to get fallout when you're picking up as much as what I am. But that's always the case anyway, because I'm always messy. <laughs> I'm actually going to have to go through it with my finger because it just, yeah, it just doesn't hit the same with a brush. Like, look at that. It's just a finger just, yeah. <laughs> oh, my dirty mind. Yeah, but a finger just fixes it. And I'm going to take it higher or blend it all together and then going in with my little baby finger for the pink because I don't want to put too much on and then I'm going to go back through with all of the shades and all the brushes and blend out the edges make them like a little bit higher get it perfect basically and then I'll show you what we're working with so now that we've got the eye look done, I'm going to go in with it in a corner highlight and brow bone highlight. I'm going to go in with the shade Ice, which is a beautiful shade. This actually swatched like a dream. So I'm going to pop some of this. Oh, I mean, come on. Come on. I've got this horrible little spot like right in here. It just always looks like my eye is dead bumpy. But I don't want to squeeze it because it's right next to my eye. So I'm going to have to just wait for it to kind of vacate my face. That in a corner is beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so I've got the rest of my face on. I will try both the lip glosses by themselves and then I'll put them on with like a lip combination. So I want to try the funky yellowy one first. This one obviously is yellow but it is meant to be a clear gloss. What I'll do is I'll put it on one side of my mouth and then I'll leave it a couple of minutes and see whether it actually does any plumping. Oh my god, it smells like straight up pineapple. Like straight up pineapple. Oh god, I can feel tingling already. So this is what it looks like when it's first applied. And let's give it a minute or so. So it's been a couple of minutes. I feel like it's maybe pop, like plumped them up a tiny bit. I don't know, can you see the difference? Like a tiny, tiny bit, but nothing crazy. If you ask somebody who cannot stand plumping lip glosses, you'd be fine with this one because I'm a big baby and... Yeah, that was like totally fine. So yeah, I'll pop it on the rest of the lips. But if you don't like any like tingling feeling at all, I just wouldn't, I wouldn't get these. But there's nothing to like be worried about. So that is just what the shade Freeze looks like by itself. Just a clear gloss. 
smells unbelievable though like literally like straight up pineapple beautiful so i've just popped on the w7 heartache lipstick with the w7 sultry which is like the all-rounder lip liner and i'm going to top it off with the pinkier gloss i'm just going to pop that straight on the top so yeah, this is the finished look. I would love to know what you think down below. Look at me with my hair down. You can tell I wash my hair. Um, but yeah, I'd love to know what you think down below. I think out of this whole collection, I do think the eyeshadow set for £12 is really good. If you are going to get your use out of them eyeshadows, brushes, the only one that I wouldn't use as often would be this angled one. But I have been using like brow pomade a lot recently, so I probably would still get my use out of this. But I'd love to know what you think down below, the shimmers in this collection, like on the swatched on my arm, how they went on my, on my lid. I absolutely love them. Just because somebody asked me the other day, I'm actually going to smell the palette. Yeah, the palette does not smell like pineapple because somebody asked me if the coconut one smelled like coconuts. And yeah, this one definitely doesn't smell like pineapple, but the lip glasses do. They smell so good. So yeah, I'd love to know what you think of the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. I'll hopefully see you in another video very, very soon. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll hopefully see you in tomorrow's video. Love you so much. Thank you so much. Bye.